Chicks. Shake for a shake. I'm throwing these Emirates in the sky. Spinning this Asa Lama. Make them piece to the M-O-N-E-Y. I love my beaches. South beaches. Surf, board, and high tide. I can just roll up because I'm swole up. So that birthday cake get the Cobra. Bugatti for real. I'm Cobra. The autobiography rover. Gotta keep the... Hey, happy graduation day, Olivia. It is Saturday, and I'm starting to vlog a little bit. Uh, but it's Saturday, and Olivia's graduation day, so um, this first part is going to be congratulating her on um, two years of hard work, two and a half. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy for you, and you looked beautiful with your hair and your makeup. You always look gorgeous, even when you're working out. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to say hey, and wish I could be there, wish I could have been there. I was there in spirit. Um, just really proud of you. Mwah. Um, okay, so wrapping up week five. My God. <laughs> uh, and it's been a crazy week. We had the meetup at Hermosa Beach, and that was really, really, just really amazing. Okay, so I'm in my car on the way to a meetup. Um, some of the LA girls uh, were going to watch Pitch Perfect too. Excited. I love Pitch Perfect. Uh, um, and we're going to go to dinner beforehand. Um, so I'm excited to hang out and chat before we watch a movie. Uh, but can we talk about the the new Mahi bikinis that Tone It Up released? My goodness, they're beautiful. Uh, so I think the entire Tone It Up community kind of went nuts yesterday um, trying to decide which ones to get. I ended up getting the Midnight Mermaid and the Neon Beach Party. Um, I couldn't decide. And the only reason I went with two is because... I have my honeymoon in Aruba, and I my goal is to wear a, um, a different bikini every day that I'm there. Is that lame? I don't know, <laughs> but that's my goal. Hey, so I just got back from the meetup watching Pitch Perfect. Such a cute movie. Good laugh. Uh, I never did finish my story about the Wednesday meetup, but um, every time I leave a meetup I'm just I'm so happy to be connected with these girls like what I wanted to tell Karina and Katrina when I saw them again was that I was grateful for them giving me the community like the workouts and the eating healthy that's just a bonus but just the connections I've made um like with the tone it up LA girls and just the people that I met through like Instagram and I I got to physically hug some of the people that I connected with on Instagram on Wednesday and that was amazing uh, I just I feel so happy about that okay I'm slowly transitioning to bed <laughs> changed into my PJs uh, anyways let's talk about week six uh, let's see, um, didn't have time today to meal prep or grocery shop, but I did make a list and I'm ready to shop tomorrow after another Tone It Up meetup doing a cupcake tour in Beverly Hills, I think, and then heading back into Santa Clarita for my 75 minute workshop for the slimmer slim down at my bar studio. Uh, speaking of bar, I did my 100th class on Thursday. So exciting. Seems like I've done longer. I started back in October and it's been a long 100 classes it seems like. Uh, but proud of myself for getting through and sticking with it. Okay, I really need to get to bed um, if I want to get a run in before I meet Emily to carpool down to Beverly Hills. Uh, so to wrap it up. 
Uh, my meals this week were not so great. Um, I had my boss, my future ex-boss, gave me a box of chocolates and I've been having some here and there, so I'm going to be focused this week. I'm going to stick to the plan 100%. That's my goal. It might be unattainable, but I'm going to try. Uh, let's see. I just wanted to wish you guys a awesome week six. We have, we're three weeks away from the end. Please don't end. Um, you girls have been kicking so much booty, and for all of you that bought Mahi bikinis, you deserve them, and you're going to rock them. Can't wait to see, um, see you all in them. That sounds kind of creepy, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, and Olivia, I know I just caught up on Facebook and saw that you had an awesome graduation party with Fiona and Nikki and your cousin, and that makes me happy. I wish I could have been there, but uh, I'm glad you got me in Jennifer's snap. <laughs> we just love you to death, and we're so happy for you. Okay, I'm going to go to bed now. And I'll check in with you guys next week uh, for the next week's vlog. Mwah! Hey ladies, happy Sunday. Um, I just got back home from St. Louis and um, I guess like you all saw because I posted it so incredibly much, <laughs> um, I got to graduate um, on Saturday. So. That was a huge accomplishment for me. Um, I got out of high school and kind of couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with myself. And I tried to do um, I tried to do uh, cosmetology, and I kind of uh, crapped out of that a little bit. And um, I think my biggest thing was I was just really, really scared to uh, to take the test or accomplish something. I guess. That was my biggest thing and so I just kind of stopped college altogether and then um, when I met my husband um, then boyfriend um, he kind of encouraged me to go back to school and kind of um, you know get a degree get something under my belt and that's actually funny enough is when I started um, when I started tone it up and you know everybody kept talking about oh, you know go for it and and do what you dream and you know have goals and stuff and um, so school be kind of kind of became a, a passion of mine and I also think it's when I turned um, you know like 25 I also kind of grew up and I was like okay well I need to get something done so um, so anyways my point is um, I went for something I did something I had a goal and I achieved it um, so I graduated with honors and um, if you knew me in high school that's probably something you never thought I would ever do so um, yeah so that was really exciting I got a chance to celebrate that with my family and you know my my parents have worked really hard with me on um, my scheduling and working and stuff like that so that I could achieve my school goals so um, and then my husband he's the one who paid for my schooling so um, there's never enough thanks for that but um, everybody else who's so supportive of it um, that was beyond um, beyond thank you so anyways so I'm back home and we had our party last night to celebrate and I had Fiona and Nikki and my cousin Suze they came over and so it was a really good time had a bunch of family there and family friends and so that was nice. Um, so now I'm back here, and um, since it's Sunday and I was driving all day, um, I wasn't able to do any meal prep. So um, I have, I still have a few cut up veggies and stuff like that um, for week. Uh, what are we doing? Week six here. So I still have a couple of things um, prepared so that I could um, have a healthier breakfast and have a healthier lunch and stuff tomorrow for Monday. Um, but I am going to do meal prep on Monday instead of Sunday. So either way, I'm prepping for a successful week because I can tell you that week five was such a huge, huge success for me. It was really good. It kind of got me out of my slump. Um, I felt I felt great. I felt like meal five was a really good meal week for me. Like I followed the nutrition plan perfectly. I feel like when I always follow it to a T or like right around there or 
switch in and out of meals that are recommended in the plan, I feel like I um, achieve better results. So I was really excited about that. And, um, you know, it just kind of goes to show um, <laughs> the meal prep and meal plan and stuff that they have put together for you in the bikini program. It, it seriously does work. I mean, it does. I will tell you that um, so far I've lost um, like two inches and five pounds on this plan. And that that's actually really hard for someone who is at like, who is at their, their weight, you know, um, their recommended weight or right, right at, right above the recommended weight. That's actually really hard for somebody to do before plateauing and, um, and trying to lose more and more and more. It's just, it's more of a challenge, I would say, to lose all of, um, to lose that last couple of, of um, pounds. So um, this plan has definitely been a success for me so far. And it's, we're into week six, so we only have three left. And it's a little scary, because it's kind of like, oh, you feel like you need more time, but at the same time, you don't realize how much you've re like already really accomplished. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be prepared for week six. My parents are coming down um, next weekend for Memorial Day, and um, my mom is doing this with me, so she is very gung-ho about no crap in the house. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. That helps out a whole lot, not having um, her come down here, or anybody for that matter, come down here and really wanna bring nasty crap into the house. You know, stuff that you just, you're like, please don't bring that here. I'm gonna, I mean, no, I don't have the willpower, but. Um, no, but my mom and I are um, trying to um, stay on track, so I'm really excited about that. Um, let's see. I wanted to say also thank you to Crystal this week. She went to the um, Hermosa Beach meetup um, for Tone It Up, and she video snap video chatted me, Snapchatted me um, with a message from Karina and Katrina, and that was really sweet. And um, that made my day, so I want to say thank you to her for that. She's always been so sweet to me, and always, she's always doing things that make me the happiest. And um, it just, she's a great partner to have, and she's all mine. <laughs> um, also, Jen and Crystal, thank you very much for Snapchatting me yesterday with the um, graduation message. That was really sweet. I love you both. I love, I can't wait to meet Jennifer. Like, I cannot wait. I'm so excited in September to meet you, girl. You don't even know. So it'll be me, you, Crystal reunited, or not even reunited, but just united. <laughs> and um, I really hope we can get something together and do a Turn It Up LA meetup so I can meet some of the LA girls. That would be a lot of fun. So um, I was just outside, right? and you're probably wondering why I'm outside, but um, it's really nice out. It's supposed to get a little bit stormy later, but um, I was outside checking on all my plants and my garden and stuff. It does not look that good right now because we realized that we don't have gutters on our house and all of the rainfall was falling directly onto the plants and it killed a lot of my plants and like washed them away. So thank God the farmer's market opened up two weeks ago. So until I can get these plants replanted and back on track, I think I'm going to have to use the farmer's market. I have a little bit of like, I have like one bunch of kale and some cucumbers and some lettuce and um, I think green beans and like one thing of spinach, but uh, I'm kind of bummed about it. So I got to replant that and get gutters put up at least on this side of the house so that I can try to get some plants growing. I don't know. I've never had a green thumb, so this is kind of discouraging, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll get it back on track. But um, yeah, I just want to wish you all a happy Sunday and then a happy week six. And I really hope that you all push yourselves this week. And um, I really hope that you realize that we're three weeks out and um, now more than ever is the time to push it. It's the time to really get going. So um, I love you all very much. You are all doing an amazing job. You all inspire me every single day. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you ladies later and I will see you for my next check-in. Love you all very much. Get your booty calls in.